Are you struggling with analysis? I'll show you how I did mine to get the A star. In A level economics, to hit that 20 plus mark in your essays, you need to have solid, logical chains of analysis. However, many students lack very heavily here, with most students' analysis being very undeveloped and extremely short. If I had to define analysis, I'd define it as having to prove that initial point to your examiner. I'll share two tips which helped me when I was personally struggling with analysis. Number one, assume your examiner has no economics knowledge. This means you need to explain everything in a very logical step-by-step -step process, leaving no detail out. Number two, diagrams are your best friend. Diagrams should play a major role in your analysis. Why? Because they just give you so much to write about. So having a solid grasp on a wide range of diagrams is essential. Like we always do, I'll run through an example to explain my train of thought when developing analysis. So the question is, evaluate the view that protectionism is damaging to the economy. So of course, still using the perfect paragraph structure, link down below. Step one is just stating my point. So my point is, I agree protectionism is damaging to the economy as it worsens domestic consumers living standards. Now, after listening to my point, I hope you can understand what I meant by analysis is just proving your initial point to your examiner. As in the rest of this essay, all I'm going to do is just prove to my examiner why and how protectionism causes worsened living standards for the domestic consumers. Step two, application. For example, the transatlantic deal would have generated over 100 billion worldwide. Step three is analysis. I'm gonna start here with a tariff diagram. As I said, diagrams are of utmost importance when analyzing. So, protectionist policies such as tariffs increase the price of imported goods, limiting trade. For example, China's levy on European wine. This means China's consumer's price will increase from PWS to PWS plus tariff. This restricts quantity imported by Chinese consumers from originally Q1, Q2 to now a much smaller Q3, Q4, with B and D representing the consumer welfare loss due to the tariff. This tariff results in restricting free trade and means Chinese consumers can't afford to import as much as before despite this does help domestic consumers who gain a surplus of air. And as Chinese consumers cannot now access as many goods and services they want and need, this worsens living standards. Analysis is a skill you'll develop over time. The more work you put in, the more practice you do, the better you'll get over time. For example, I did eight of these books full of essays and that was the workload needed for me to get an A star. Anyway, if you'd like tutoring by an A star student, me, Top link in the description to find out more. Lots of new videos being pumped out, so make sure to subscribe to not miss out. Thank you for watching.